Hello! This video introduced a new tool in ADS 2025 Update 1 called Photonic Designer. My name is Andrzej Ciminski and I'm Solution Engineer at Keysight EDA. The newly launched Photonic Designer in ADS 2025 Update 1 is a significant addition aimed at accelerating the development of silicon photonics integrated circuits. This tool integrates photonic schematics, models, and layout into a single design environment, providing a comprehensive workflow for photonics chip designs. This integration helps streamline the design process, improve efficiency, and reduce time to market for photonics applications. Photonic Designer presently supports simulations of photonic components, circuits, and systems, as well as layout generation. Currently, the supported design workflow is a schematic-driven flow where the user can use the components included in the palette within the schematic environment of the ADS to create, simulate, optimize, and perform sensitivity analysis. The circuit defined in the schematic view can then be used to generate a layout. A high-level workflow with the ADS is shown in the picture. The user can start from the schematic view by defining the circuit or system. The existing palette in the schematic view contains all the components available. The components contain associated models which will be used for the simulation of the circuit. In addition, custom waveguides can be designed and their effective index will be calculated via an integrated mode solver. ADS contains tuning optimization, Monte Carlo simulation, and yield analysis capabilities which can be used in combination with Photonic Designer. Once the desired result in the schematic view has been reached, the user can turn the schematic view into layout. All components which are to be fabricated on chip have a layout view, so they will be present in this view with the appropriate connectivity. Photonic Designer seamlessly integrates the functionality of a mode solver in ADS environment and circuit simulations. Components in Photonic Designer make use of a mode solver for calculating the effective index of the modes, enabling the designer to use custom cross sections and waveguides instead of compact models, which are typically reserved for the fixed and well characterized waveguides. In particular, the following components make use of the mode solver Straight Waveguide, SWG, Band Waveguide, BWG, and Directional Coupler, Dear Coupler Underline SIM. The mode solver takes an input from the components, for example, SWG, the width of the waveguide, and the required cross section definition. In the cross-section definition, the materials used in these cross-sections are in turn defined. The mode solver can therefore use all information needed from the schematic, like a geometry and materials, to reconstruct the user-defined cross-section and calculate the effective indices for any waveguide used in the schematic, and finally perform the circuit simulation with it. User can create a workspace and run the simulation by following these steps creating a workspace, setting up the design kit, and creating a schematic. Let's have a look how these steps work in practice. Before we start our first workspace within ADS, let's make sure that we have access to the process design kit. And the process design kit may come from the Foundry, or you can download some demo version of the process design kit from our webpage. In order to do that, go to the Keyset webpage, then search for a photonic design. And then click on the photonic designer. This will take you to the web page where you can download the process design kit for the photonic designer, either for Windows platform or for Linux platform. Once this is done, let's go to the ADS. Next, go to Design Kit, Manage Favorite Design Kit. And as you can see, I have already installed it in my ADS version. But in your case, just click Add Zip Design Kit. 
select the archived version and click open. Alternatively, if the design case has been already unarchived, go to add library definition file, go to into directory of the design kit and click lib.devs file and click open. And the design kit will be added to your favorites design kits within ADS. Now let's create our first workspace. Let's go to File, New, Workspace, and then expand the Show Advanced, and select Change Libraries. As you can see, our PDK is available for further selection. Let's enable it, and click OK. Next, Create Workspace. In this window, we need to make sure that PDK technology is selected for the workspace creation. So let's mark it, and click Finish. Now let's generate a first schematic. In order to do it, let's go to File, New, and then Schematic, or alternatively, just select the schematic icon on the toolbar. Let's accept the name and create a schematic. On the left-hand side, there is a palette of the components, and uh, when the PDK is properly installed, you should have like uh, two items in this palette that comes from the PDK. The first one is the PDK components, and the second is the PDK materials. In order to start the capturing schematic, just simply drag and drop necessary components from the palette from the left and put it on the schematic space. So now instead of building schematic from the scratch, let's try to open some examples which are delivered by the PDK from Keysync. Go to File, Unarchive, go to the place where the PDK is stored, and under the directory of the PDK, there is a directory called Examples, and let's open it up, and then we have a four different type of workspace available for exploration. So let's open up this one, which is the Add a Draw Filter example, and click Open. So let's have a look what is inside of this workspace. The first directory contains information about the content in the other subdirectories. So we have two examples. The first is the S parameter simulation of an add drop ring based multiplexer, and the second one is exactly the same multiplexer, although the material is a temperature dependent. So looking at the first schematic, we see a schematic of uh, three resonators looking from the right to the left. This is the input. This is the output of the first readout. This is the output of the second readout, and that's the output of the third one. This port is the port that is actually port of the transmission path. Zooming into the circuit, we can observe components has been early mentioned. It's SWG, it's a BWG, and decoupler underlies SIM. This component has material assigned, which is called X-Tribe. And this material definition is provided by the component X-Tribe that has each of the cross-section elements uh, defined separately. And the material for this component is defined in the following two other components. The first one is SI and the other one is SiO2. The optical block simulation ADS can be used to select desired polarization. This component can be used uh, in all kinds of simulations. However, in absence of this block, the TE polarization will be selected by default. The S parameter analysis is controlled by the S parameter um, block, which um, is used for a frequency sweep but we can also use it for wavelength sweeps. Just simply defining the frequency as the speed of light divided by lambda, where lambda is defined in the variable block. To simulate design, we can simply click a gear in the toolbox or just F7.
When the simulation is finished, the data display tool will immediately show the simulation results. In the graph below, we can see a, on the left the transmission from the port number 1 to port number 2, number 3 and number 4, which are the outputs of each of the separate rings. While on the right hand side, we can see a transmission from port number 1 to port number 5, which is actually a transmitting path. Now let's go back to schematic and generate layout. In order to do that, we need to go to Layout, Generate Update Layout, and click OK. The layout will be automatically generated, and now it's ready to export in different formats for further fabrication. More information about the Photonic Designer can be found under PDK menu. Thank you for exploring the Photonic Designer in ADS. With its integrated design environment, you can now accelerate your Photonics projects from concept to production. Experience the future of Photonic design today with advanced design system and let's innovate together.